Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the Blizzard Firebird WRC. Uh, I'm back again for another season, just an updated graphic for 2023. Everything else about the Firebird WRC remains the same. And essentially this is Blizzard's take on those kind of consumer beer league giant slalom skis. Uh, it's essentially built like a fist race ski. There's a ton of similarities between what you see on the World Cup or stuff like that and this ski here. The biggest difference is the shape. So in this ski, we have an 18.5 meter turn radius. Obviously for a fist ski, you would see a much bigger turn radius. So that's kind of where the where we consider it to be more of a consumer, more of a fun GS ski. Um, it kind of allows you to experience the the g-forces of, of a giant slalom ski without needing to kind of flex and bend one of those really big radius skis. Um, so let's kind of talk about what's inside it, shape and all that stuff, and then, then its ideal application, which you can probably guess what its ideal application is. Wood core in this ski, pretty dense wood core at that. We get two sheets of Titanol, sandwich construction, so already, you know, sounds like a race ski. We also get carbon armor and carbon spine in this ski. Um, carbon armor is a little easier to describe, partly because you can actually see it. It's this sheet of carbon right underfoot. Um, really just boosts the ski's power in arguably the most important part of the ski to be powerful. And then carbon spine um, actually refers to vertical strips of carbon that are laminated within the wood core. So pretty cool, you know, we see other stuff from Rossignol with their line control technology. This is a similar concept, but instead of metal or ABS or other materials that we've seen from other manufacturers, it's carbon. So there's a lot going on, a lot of technology in this ski. Carbon, metal, dense wood core, that's recipe for a race ski. Um, and that's reflected in the ski's shape too. So you're not gonna see much rocker in this ski whatsoever. 68 millimeters underfoot, so that's a very race-inspired waist width. And then, yeah, just a full cambered ski. So this thing is designed for laying over powerful mid-radius carving turns, um, and it's that's what it's best at. You know, I think it's fair to say that it's a fairly one-dimensional ski. Kind of all the Firebird models are, in, in a certain sense at least. In, this, in that sense is they are designed for carving. And when you have a narrow, stiff, cambered carving ski, it's generally not great at anything else, and that's just fine. So people who should be considering this ski are really skiers looking to fill that kind of front side race part of their quiver. Uh, maybe you're in a local beer league race at, at your local hill here in Stowe. It's called the Ski Bum Race, and honestly, this ski would be absolutely perfect. Um, I'm always kind of like on the lookout for skis that are strong enough with the right turn radius because the course set is kind of in between what you would consider slalom and GS. So that's pretty common, having a slightly shorter radius giant slalom or, or shorter giant slalom set in a local recreational race league. So fantastic for that, um, but also just good for somebody who, you know, you don't necessarily have to be planning on taking it into a race course. You just want to experience some really, really high level, really precise carving. So maybe you spend most of your time on groomed slopes. Maybe you have a race background and you just love that style of skiing. Um, it's a great, great ski. You know, maybe you're Maybe most of the time you're skiing in soft snow and, and you just want to ski that's fun for those days when there's no soft snow and, and lets you really push your ski ability to its limits. Um, great ski. You know, I will say before we end here that, again, 68 underfoot is pretty narrow. So don't anticipate really being able to take this off trail. Um, even in some softer snow conditions on a groomer, it can get a little bit bogged down. If you are skiing soft snow regularly, 
you may at least want to consider the Firebird HRC, which has a lot of similar properties. It's just a little bit wider. Um, so that's it. That's the Firebird WRC from Blizzard. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you out there on the hill.